All right, here's some news to make you scream. It is National Ice Cream Day, which Let's should be go. every day. Yes. I observe it every day mm -hmm. as much as I can. I'd vote for you. Pretty much, we're about to fight over this one ice cream <laughs> that you see in front of us here. It seems our love for ice cream is unconditional. Cute, clever, love yeah. it. 90% of, of Americans, 97% say that they love ice cream. And if you're in the 3%, you might be wrong. Anyway, so <laughs> if you're ready to scoop up a sweet treat, look no further than the legendary Scream Truck. Absolutely. Joining us now, owner Eric Murphy. Eric, oh thank gosh. you so much for being here. Thanks and this for me. isn't your you. average ice cream truck, right? It Tell is. Tell us not. a little bit about it and how you got the idea, because I think it's brilliant. Yeah, so it's an on-demand ice cream truck. Brilliant. We actually text people when oh, we're coming my... to their neighborhood, mm -hmm. and then they can reply why for yes. That means they want to stop at their house. Everybody pre-orders and pre-pays, and then the truck is routed through that neighborhood within an hour window. And how did you get this idea? It's amazing. So ice cream trucks have been around for over 100 years. It was yeah. the original food truck, the original sort of food delivery truck. Mm -hmm but they've never really changed. It's always kind of been the same thing. So we freshened it up with technology, the way that you get the ice cream truck. We also freshened up with the product. We have a really premium 10% milk fat soft serve product. We use Ghirardelli sauces, cones from the Conery in Brooklyn, Oof. just some really awesome products. It, I see the way you uh, layer the ice cream, the way you guys would put like ice yes. cream and then some toppings and ice cream and then toppings. Mm -hmm. I'm curious, where did you come up with that and how often do you go on social media you see all these like creative ways people are using ice cream? It shows that people are still getting innovative with it. Yeah, definitely. I mean. For me, I'm a huge ice cream fan, and there was nothing yeah. more frustrating than eating ice cream with all the toppings on top, and then you get past that, and then it's all just ice cream. So This yeah. is key. You I love this. This is genius. Man That's after my own heart. Especially right. for kids. Kids love the toppings almost more than the ice cream. So, Large kids. so we basically layer it so that there's a layer layering? of ice cream, yeah, then there's a I'm layer of topping, and then there's a layer of ice cream on top. I've worked through most of this. That's <laughs> so good. Not what just kids, but grown-up kids. Like, I'm curious, because some people now, the big trend is like ice cream spaghetti, where people are using yeah. spaghetti strainer. People mm -hmm. are doing all these different inventive things. What are your thoughts on that? I think they're cool, but I also think just the classic way of doing ice cream is great. And we don't do stuff just for Instagram. We do stuff to make it taste good and make people love it. Mm -hmm. So love the trends and they're fun, but we kind of stick to the traditional, just like good looking, well tasting or well, Good looking, good tasting Sunday. Well, in All Idaho, day. they have the, the ice cream potato. Which is you okay, you guys no. have been. This is funny, the ice cream, but it's not a real potato. It looks like a potato. A I'll, I'll it's ice cream it in the shape of a potato. So, so what about ice cream? It's just so <laughs> nostalgic. I mean, to me, it just instantly boosts my mood. It does. I mean, do you have like memories, girl? Yeah, what sparked I mean, that love? honestly, I didn't have a great childhood. And as, as crazy as it sounds, ice cream was sort of my go-to kind of comfort mm -hmm. so that was always a good memory and then just loving ice cream I mean I feel like everybody loves ice cream it's a universally loved product so yeah. right. it's it's really and and the truck itself you know just all the different flavors and varieties and it's just really fun to get creative with people and they and they just love the delivery right to their house and I love yeah that. explain that so you have 16 trucks you've been around since 2020 yep your background was in music I was in the music industry for uh, about 15 years. I worked with NSYNC, uh, Christina Aguilera, Soul. Dave Matthews yeah. Band. Uh, it was you. at RCA Records. And then I had right? a marketing agency in the city for 15 years um, that I sold to Condé Nast back in 2017. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, what can I do next? And I just always have thought about doing something with ice cream. So I came up with Cream Truck. That's great. So you have 16 trucks now. Yep. Going back four years. Are you mostly in New Jersey? And how does it work? You can't just walk up to the truck. By the way, it doesn't have annoying music. It has like cool music. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Cranking out of the truck. Exactly. That's one of the deals. Yeah, some ice cream come for a little baby. Yeah, yeah. so cute. You see it on our oh, oh, nice. So, where so do you they made one for them, but how does What's it work? That? Where do you cover? So we cover about 75 towns in New Jersey. We have 90,000 households signed up for our reserved routes. Those oh, are the cool. people who get the text when we're coming to their neighborhood. Mm -hmm. We do private events, um, and we're expanding and franchising franchising nationwide now. So we're launching our first franchisee in Monmouth County, New Jersey. Ooh. And then we're hoping to do Raleigh, Durham, um, one in Dallas and one in Las Vegas within hmm. the next 12 Great months. Great cities. Awesome. Yeah. Especially Vegas. I mean, Vegas. Right, I Raleigh, Durham. The strip, I, used you know? to, yeah. I used to work in Vegas, so mm. I know that this would work. I and love it. Right? It's a hot local summer business. day. Yeah, Who for doesn't sure. Lo love so Mexico? good. Exactly. So what happened was there? we had a casualty with some of the ice cream mm -hmm. that fell, but <laughs> fell we may do. Yeah. <laughs>
And let so me check it out. Again. What's your um? What is your um website or how do people sign up to become part of the ninety thousand? Yep. And then you have to do weather, I think. And then I'll do weather. So screamtruck.com. Um, you can find us on Instagram at screamtruck and um, just go oh. on our website, sign up. You can also book events online as well. So fun, oh, Eric. Thank, thank you. you for being yeah, here. Thanks for having thank me. Thank you. Appreciate right, it. Sorry, my hands cold. Hang out for weather. Hang out for weather. It's, it's ice cream weather, that's for sure. Temperatures right now upper seventies, low eighties. As we head into this afternoon, watch out for that spot shower chance. Otherwise, a mix of sun and clouds. Really a nice Sunday. Even even with that spotty rain chance and you got to take advantage of today because moving into the work week things get a whole lot more unsettled tomorrow more humid more cloud cover and then the storm chances increase starting Tuesday so enjoy a Sunday on a Sunday hey right? there you go thanks for being with thanks us thank you here. Eric thank you thanks for having Stream me truck oh, enjoy the nice oh look at that little oh, sweetie <laughs>